Now let's take a look at binary numbers. So the number system used by computers is called binary. So in mathematics it's called base 2 because there are only two symbols for making numbers 0 and 1. So these columns are the place values for binary numbers. So it's important we don't just say place values so that we don't mix them up with normal numbers. The place values for binary numbers. How much bigger does each one get as we go from right to left? We can see that they get two times bigger. They double. The reason they get two times bigger is because we've only got two symbols for numbers, 0 and 1. What's the highest number that can be in any column? 1. Because we don't have any other symbols, then we will go 0 and 1. Then we've got to go into the next place value to make our other numbers. So just a reminder again then, when we're in normal numbers, decimal numbers, because there are 10 symbols, when we move up, everything gets 10 times bigger. Yep. In binary, when we move up, there's only two symbols, so they get two times bigger. Inside the computer, when information's been stored, it's like millions of tiny switches. Now, obviously, they don't look like this, but they act in the same way. A switch can either be on or it can be off. There's no middle value. So if the switch is on, we take that as being a 1. If it's off, we take that as being a 0. Each of these swi switches is called a binary digit <coughs> or a bit. So b it. Okay, so you take it from that, the b it, a bit. A bit is the binary equivalent of a digit. So you usually have a five digit number. In binary, it'd be a five bit number. Data on computers is normally stored in eight bit chunks, and we call those eight bits a byte. And you'll have heard of that as well in things like kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, and so on. So if eight bits is a byte, what is four bits? Four bits is called a nibble. Some computer programmer decided that that would be hilarious at some point. So four bits, half a byte is a nibble. So these switches can be used to make numbers and to allow us to count in binary. Remembering again, the place values double each time. So if you remember that, any number system always starts with one and you can always just work out the others. You don't have to remember them. So how many bits is this number? It's a five bit number. One, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't matter what the place values are, it's just a five bit number, a five digit number. So what would that number be as a decimal? So we'd go through these. Easy sometimes to think of them like coins. And think, okay, we've got one four pound coin. We've got one one pound coin. What have we got? Five pounds. So five is this number. So this one, we've got an 8, a 4, and a 1. Sorry, we've got an 8, a 4, and a 2. No 16s, no 1. So we've got 8 and 2 is 10, add 4, 14. And on this one, then, we would have 16 and 4, 20, and 1, 21. You can also use your fingers to remember the place values. So you must have your palms face up with little fingers almost touching and then we start with the one and we just double each time so on this if you put the finger up that counts as a one if you put the finger down then it counts as a zero 